Talk to y'all tonight. I'm looking for some strippers for a strip party. Y'all ready? Did you see that shit? Just two seconds ago, we said no. I was talking to y'all. Mother. You motherfucker. <laughs> Uh-huh. Oh, that's his phone in her hand. Well, it can't be because he ain't sweating enough for that. Uh, she, their feet are broke. Damn. Where's the flats once in a while, Yumi? Goddamn. Hello and welcome back to Sisters of Game. I'm Jay. I am Big Pimpy. And thank you for tuning in to the final episode of Angela's Sweet Ass Big Time I'ma Get Your Ass Revenge. Bitch. Bitch. <laughs> What's in store for us on day four? Well, we're going to see. We're going to definitely see. What we got to do? I hope it's some ass whooping. Showtime! Though. Sorry, Wendy. The VIP event is canceled. We'll be in touch. Bye-bye. Is that her phone voice? That's the voice I'm giving to this chick on the phone. If I was Angela, that was the voice I would, I would use. Oh, okay. That's her phone voice. Yes, her phone voice. Bye -bye. For her. For the chick. She's talking. Wendy. Whoever Wendy is. You know what? That looks like a wrestling belt and an ass pillow up there. <laughs> a hemorrhoid pillow. Where's my stylist? Uh, Wendy? I'm sorry. She called in sick. She said she had explosive diarrhea. She can't make it. Oh, good. I don't want that around me. I guess someone else. I can't do the VIP event looking like this. I look like a horse. Uh, that's not different from any other day of the week, Yumes. Um, and that's why you a worker, bitch. Oh, what up? Hold up. You ain't Cardi B. Here's the creme and the lotion and the, um, birdseed you asked for? Honey, I hope you, I know you're going through it. Call me anytime. Bitch, first of all, don't be questioning me like you questioning me right now. Put me out on front street with my boss back there. Just slide the shit under the counter and shut up. Shit. Oh, girl, don't worry about it. I got your back, boo. Um, <clears throat> uh, look what I brought. Some conditioner for your beautiful hair and some moisturizing lotion for your shiny legs. I thought that said skinny legs. Shiny, skinny legs. <laughs> she put her glasses on. Everything. She don't want to be associated with the scene of her damn crime. Everything you need for an unforgettable Im impression. Angela, I didn't know you could help out like this. I won't forget you. Yeah, bitch, you'll never forget me. <laughs> She's right. <laughs> See? She ain't never gonna forget this shit. <laughs> the angel must have died or been she, on she strike beat or the angel ass. You're right. You'll never forget this. I'm sorry about half the things I said about you. Kisses. This motherfucker on the sidewalk again. Ho <laughs> ho. Hey. <clears throat> Jimmy, I made some fresh coffee. Oh, uh, no thanks. I'm sworn off the coffee. I'll get it myself this time if you don't mind. You make it have your sorry ass. Where'd that coffee cup come from? If anybody needs me, I'll be in the back. Mm-hmm. Loafing. Not working. That's what I need this bird seed for. Excuse me for just one minute. Come and get it! <laughs> Smells like revenge! Girl, it ain't gonna smell like revenge in two minutes, though. You betcha. Revenge is gonna smell like poop? Your revenge is gonna smell nice. Now, while we're playing, are we gonna see the birds come down? I never paid attention, so you I'll have to tell you me. Know. You have to tell me, because I've always been busy playing, and I've never noticed. Okay. Get your crappy bag. Yeah, you gotta pay attention. This is a hard level. Yep, the birds are coming down. Do they really? Yeah, I don't know if you see them pooping or not, but... Oh, are. I see the bird. I see it. Nailed oh, it. another bird. Oh my God, it's Alfred Hitchcock. I don't know if that many birds come, but I'll, we'll find out. Oh, there's three so far. But don't forget to look for the mouse. Oh, I didn't make anything. Shit. I would start over. Nope. Nope. Oh, that bitch wants some something. Shit. I'll give you that. It's four or five birds on the car now. And give her Smart. that. And give her that. They mad as fuck at you. Maybe you should start over. Nailed it. Ooh, there's seven birds on the car. Dang it. 
there's the mouse by the disco ball. I knew that mouse had this something going on. Disco so I'll tell you about the latest drama at my job since obviously you're not going to start over. I'm not. I'm going to go like this. Go with the flow. So, as you all know, Turkey Day is on the way. That bitch wants some cream. I know. I see it. Anyway, only one person gets to make all the plans. The rest of us either get to like it or lump it. That's just the way it is. That sucks. Yeah, you know, she's the little ruler of her own little universe. So, she said maybe we should do a Thanksgiving potluck. Now, most people potluck, you know, it ain't got to be... I, I don't see why you got to spend a whole lot of money just on a potluck. You just make a dish and bring it. Right. And maybe like the boss bring the meat and everybody else bring what they can bring. You know, that's the way it's always been on every job that I've worked. The boss brings the meat. Because usually the boss makes more. So in my office, they definitely make more. Okay. You know? So... It's not even really at Thanksgiving. It's like in the middle of November. Right. You can have anything. You can have chicken. You can just, just have a potluck. People will be happy to eat it. Right. No, she want to have turkey. And she said last year she spent $50 on having some turkey Ooh. breasts. Two turkey breasts. There's seven people in this office. Two turkeys. And she had them cooked in a deli downtown or something. Nailed it. So I'm like, Really? Who asked you to spend all of that anyway? Didn't nobody ask for that. But I don't understand. I can't click on this bitch. Okay. I don't understand why just the turkey breast. I mean, just get a turkey and cut the breast off yourself. It's cheaper. Cool. You know, whatever she bought. $50? You got burble. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Which is your word of the week. Burgle. My word of the week is burgled. That's my favorite. So this word. year she says she don't want to spend that much. I'm like, did well, nobody ask her. you spend that much? You know, if you spent it, that's your problem. Did did nobody ask her? Did nobody assign it to her? Right. She assigned it onto herself. And if she did that, who are you gonna blame for spending that much money? Didn't nobody take it by that? You can't got nobody to blame but herself. You know, it, it was like a sign-up sheet. What is everybody bringing? You know? Mm -hmm. I think I bought cups and plates. That's all I ever brought, because too, because I don't like cooking for people. they in greats out there, so I'm not fucking with them. So she said we have a choice. We can either kick in on the turkey this year, or her girlfriend will prepare us a sad-ass plate of turkey, green beans, maybe mashed cool. potatoes, and a roll. $15. No. That's all I'm going to say. No. And I'm like, first of all, I'm a black woman. I just don't eat everybody cooking. I ain't seen a house. I don't know this bitch. I'm just not going to eat her food. Because who knows what's in it. You can't eat this anybody food. No. I'm not trying to have intestinal fortitude up in here. That's not what that means. But I'm not trying to put myself in. You know, I'm not trying to do it to myself. Girl, you are so far away from stars. That's all right. That's all right. You'll get okay. it. You'll it's okay. It. It's okay. It'll work out. It's because Yumi hung in the dressing room. So I'm like, how can I bow out of this? I don't want to give her no money. I don't want to be no, but I don't want to be the sour pill. But I'm going to have to be that sour pill and say, you know what? I'm not even going to be here that day. So y'all do what you got to do. I don't want no part I of this I wouldn't give him any money if I'm not going to be there to eat. I can tell you that right now. That is just the hill I will die on. Well, you died on a hill before. <laughs> Maybe. I, I have died on the hill before. Nailed it. I have died on the hill. You should share that story when you can. Oh, it's easy story. It was, uh, no, that's a longer story because then I have to explain snapping fingers. And I don't, <laughs> have, and I don't have enough time to you explain to snapping explain fingers we, in this episode. Just, she called her snapping fingers because whenever the bitch talked to her, she wouldn't say her name. She would just snap. And that's rude. You know, I don't even treat my dogs that way. Yeah, so... That's I all you had to say about snapping fingers. Well, I guess. Yeah, you worked it out. I mean, I don't even really remember her real name. Snapping fingers. Snapping fingers is what I've always called her. I, I don't know what her real name... What was her real name? It doesn't even matter. You're right. It don't matter. But, uh... 
we were having a potluck that year and she was there and she was bringing food. Oh, why'd you do that and not? Okay. She was bringing food and I don't want, didn't want to be associated with snapping fingers. So I'm like, I'm not eating. And they were like, well, it's like $10 a piece, I think it was. And I'm like, I'm not paying $10 because I'm not eating. I don't want to eat her food. I'm not going to be here. And I damn sure ain't going to contribute to the potluck. And then they were like, well, there's 10 of us. Of like 100 First of all, it was like $100. But there, there's 10 of us. And we all planned for um, that's how we we're going to split it up. And I When said, we say we all planned, then you should have included a bitch in your plan. And which I would have told you. I don't want to be part of I it. I said, well, y'all better work it out then and re restructure that for $9 and, and figure so out what other money. A person. Yeah, okay. Hold on. Pause. Here we go. Welcome everybody, the show is about to start! Oh, I can't wait to see the fabulous fashion! Oh. Ooh, Jimmy Carr is fucked up! She mm. should have put the roof down on it though first. Mm. Yummy! Yummy! Time to come out! Everybody's here! I'm never coming out! What did you just give me? I'm itching all over! What Bitch, the bring your ass out! Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've been waiting for, here she is! My husband's mistress! Yummy! Oh, she is jacked up! Okay. Where's her hair? All that fabulous hair she had is gone. Where's her hair? You like it short? Her hair's on her legs. There you go. A lady of fashion shows her sexy legs, bitch! Dear guest, next season style, bald head and hairy legs. How'd she put the hair on her legs? I don't know. That's some quick grow serum. <laughs> no, my car! You don't care about the bitch. Chef, don't. What the hell happened to my car? Shoo, 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 shoo. Fuck! That is that is exactly what that translates to. The the ampersand and the at simple that is I fuck. Can read that's what that yeah, I'm glad you can. By the way, I found your phone, poker face. You throw that phone at him. Drop it. Poker face? Wait a minute. You did all this? Please forgive me. It was a mistake. She's a lousy lay anyway. You're my one true love and my paycheck. How am I supposed to live without your money, baby? Lousy kisser? You, we're through, bitch. We was through anyway. Have you seen yourself, Wolf? Oh, Ooh, shit. Hold up. You, nobody hit the back of her head. You know what, Jimmy? We're through too, bitch. No, I had enough of your sorry ass. Through. I should never have married you. I everybody told me not to marry you, and I should have listened to them. I should have listened to my sister and my mama and all my fans and everybody said you can be with somebody else better than Jimmy. He's an old fuck, and he got a little cupcake belly and everything. Cupcake muffin, muffin top, <laughs> not cupcake. It's muffin cupcake top. Cupcake now, forevermore. <laughs> cupcake bellies. But no, I felt sorry. Decided I was going to take you in. Decided I was going to, you know, I loved you and all that. But you know what? I don't love you no more. You know how they say, you know, when someone leaves you, it's hard for you to get over. Let me tell you how hard it's going to be for me to get over. It's not. Next. Take your little ring. No, don't get back the ring. Toss that shit in the street. Toss don't it. Don't get back the ring. Oh, she bounced it off of his Johnson. Oh, that ring and, must oh, be fake. And take this too, bitch. Ah! And that's how she broke her leg by stomping oh, on his foot. She should have kicked him in the nuts. Now, if she had broke her foot kicking him in the nuts, I would have way more respect for Angela. And he would not have any nuts. It can't father no more she children. She kicked the shit out of him. She broke her foot. <laughs> that must be an abulsion you didn't, fracture. You didn't say his line. Fuck! <laughs> that shit hurt! My ankle! It's the poo poo, y'all! Um, yes. Who's the owner of that piece of shit out there? Ooh, I heard your smolder turn on. Good job. That would be my ex-husband, Jimmy. Go get your ticket, bitch. Huh, seems like you messed with the wrong girl. And I'm always looking for the wrong girl. Officer, any chance of giving this single girl a ride home? Because I don't have a ride. My ankle is hurting, and I could use a massage. 
Girl, you ain't said nothing but a thing. Oh, he's fine. Come on, baby. Oh, look, he carried her out. See, that is revenge story. Right, she left her shoe, though. Fuck that shoe. <laughs> I'm mad that she left the ring. That ring's a real diamond, but that shit is sir. She, that shit is fuck all. That's what that ring is. That, that ring is cubic. Oh, I didn't get three stars. It's just fancy. I should have listened to you and started that level over. Well, you did your best. <laughs> Good job finishing level four. So all good things do happen in threes. What's the third? What's the first? What's the second? I don't know. What am I talking about? What third good base. things happen in threes? <laughs> oh, third base. That's funny. <laughs> Who's on first? I don't know. <laughs> He's shortstop or some bullshit. I don't know it. You quit your job. Oh, here's the three things. You had your revenge. And now you're single, girl. Why are you crying? It's because I ruined my high heels. I even left one behind. That fucking new They was bloody place. shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. So what's the lesson you learned from all this? Never wear high heels when you seek revenge. Oh, she did broke the shit out that shoe. Stop fucking around with old fuckers and old Aww. long manly balls. <laughs> She's really not pregnant, though. She's not pregnant. She wasn't pregnant. I mean, they found out she wasn't oh, pregnant. Oh, just the idea of her sleeping with Jimmy's makes me ill. The idea of her having a baby with... Ugh! Well, while these are rolling... Um... Oh, okay, so I'll finish. So anyway, so they were all mad, and they were like, well, you need to pay your money anyway. And I'm like, I'm not paying y'all shit, because I'm not going to be here. I'm going to Chick-fil-A for lunch. And Wait, did you ever say... I'm paying. I'm. I want to be part of this. Did you ever say that? No, but I mean, I had been there for ten years, and this is the first year I didn't contribute. But you didn't say. You didn't commit. No, I never so committed. So they should have assumed, assumed that you was gonna do it. Well, they assumed because I did it all the other years. But I told them. I said, you know, leave me out. I'm not doing it. I don't want to be associated. I'm not going to dinner with her. And then I got called into the office by the boss, and he was like. Well, I want everything to be, I want us to have a harmonious family. And I said, motherfucker, I already got a family. I don't need a second one. <laughs> I said, I got a family. And then he said, well, I'm just saying we all have to work together. And I said, you know what? You can't make people be friends. I can't make <laughs> love me. Oh, but you can't. You can't make somebody be somebody's friend. If I can't stand a bitch, you I will not. And when <laughs> something it was. And then when I was walking out, I told him, I said, you know, I don't care what you do. You're not gonna you can't make me like her. There's nothing that's gonna make me like her. But nobody else could understand why I was so upset. That snapping shit just got me and we were just nothing. I don't care what she, she bitch could have made me a chocolate cake and brought it to me with like tears used in the batter instead of salt because she'd been crying over this cake all night worried about my cake though. Worried about my feelings and I still would have been like and bitch get on my face snapping fingers. I ain't got nothing to say to you. Did you ever call her snapping fingers to her face? I think I might have. Did you ever pay that ten dollars? No, never paid it. I didn't eat. I'm with you for life. I said my ten dollars with you for life. I didn't pay. It. I wasn't. This eating. was before we were boycotting Chick Fil A, though, right? This, yeah, this was many years ago. Today will be a day to remember. You bet your sweet ass on that one. Next season, bald head and hairy legs. That should, that should have more lights. Sweet revenge. I'm even. That was fun. I really enjoyed this story. I'm sorry. This one was over. This one was too short. It should have been longer. Well, but this is like a little it got teaser. to the point. It got right to the point. Um, I think we're going to play the next Angela in the series, which is yep. Angela's something. The one with the fashion fa fever. Fashion fever. Yeah. The one was going to say the one with the fashion contest or whatever. The one that introduces it to that song. Or was that song playing for this one? It was on this one. So that's always been Angela's song. I just want to see what Angela's kids are going to be like. I think she's going to have some little aliens. I think Angela's not going to have any kids. Maybe she won't. Because I don't think Angela will settle down. I think every, I think what they should do, what Game House should do from now on, every Angela game, she should be with a different guy. Because Angela just seems like the type that just 
changes guys like she changes fashion. Well, let's see. A new season. The new, new season, season fashion. The supposed to be in 2018. So we'll let's see if she stayed with Matt or if she went on. She didn't stay with Matt at the end of Fashion Fever. Oh, no, Matt was at the end of high school. No, she said she was moving on. They had things to work out, which meant she's moving on. Well, let's see what she does this time. Too All right, she so stay with Hottie Cop. We're going to leave this episode here. Tune in tomorrow at 5 o'clock. We have new videos every day at 5 o'clock. Um, please leave a like on this if you liked it. If you leave a comment down below, we promise we answer all of our comments. And hit subscribe. You know you want to subscribe. We're cool to listen to. Subscribe to us. And we'll save a place for you on the couch. Bye! Bald head and hairy legs ain't never been in style, I don't think. Not bald like the way she had it. That bitch looked like she had like leeches on top of her head. That's what they look like. Little well, leeches. And that's a lot of hair to lose too. That's a lot of hair. Girl, she put going right to the wig shop. I guarantee it. Right to the wig shop. Sushi! <laughs>